I swear, everything is always broken in this house. Sierra is just in here, like, playing with toys in front of a dirty, broken sink in a puddle. Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Hethman and we are back today to play some more of our 100 baby challenge with our matriarch, Catherine. In our last episode, we had the 14th baby born, hopefully a mer person. We will, we will see. We had more birthday. We had a lot of birthdays, actually. A lot of stuff happened in the last episode. Lots of birthdays, lots of aging up, all of that. Today, I'm really hoping that Brody and Jen can get A's and get moved out of the house so that Catherine is ready to have another baby. That would be good. The most recent child, Simon, should be aging into a toddler as well today. So we're going to kind of work on getting everybody ready to age up, work on Catherine's next romance, and Simon having a birthday. It is a Sunday in game currently, and it is Simon's birthday today, so he should be good to age up whenever we get the pop-up saying it's time for him. Everyone is just kind of starting to wake up. So Brody and Jen are our oldest set of twins in the house, and they still need an A in high school. They have completed their school projects, both of them, so they're in good shape with school projects. They need to do their homework and get a skill to level three. Brody is kind of working on video gaming, but Brody is high maintenance, and he's spent a lot of Saturday just kind of angry at everything because he's high maintenance, and that's how he rolls. Jen wants to be a joke star, so she has reached level two of the comedy skill, so she's going to work on writing some more jokes today when she wakes up. Uh, Sierra is also a B student, and she has her skills ready to go to age up into a teenager. She needs to work on homework today. Odin is pretty much all ready to go to school on Monday, so he is good. And then Trevor and Autumn are recently children, so they are still, like, they haven't been to school yet, so they both need to work on some homework as well. For Catherine, as far as romance options go, we have a few. Our next baby donor could potentially be Morgan Fries, Nalani, Ma'ahi, but that was, that one we were having a little bit of an issue with getting pregnant last time when Catherine was trying to have a baby with Nalani. Uh, Paolo Raka is another option. So I think those are our three top options for baby donors. Paolo is the furthest along, so, well, Nalani is the furthest along, and then there's Paolo. So what we might do is we might try a couple of times with Nalani. If that doesn't end up working out, then we'll move on to Paolo. Of course, this is all contingent on having Brody and Jen get A's and move out. That has to happen. Since it's Sunday, we're going to get everybody doing homework and extra credit work and all of those things that they need to do their homework done except for Brody but he is working on his skill so once he's done with that then he's gonna go do his homework and be ready for school on Monday and Brody also has his responsibility in range to earn that character value as well as Jen so they are both good with that so very good things are moving along we're like on the right track here I swear, everything is always broken in this house. Sierra is just in here, like, playing with toys in front of a dirty, broken sink in a puddle. It's a really good thing that, like, nobody comes to check on all of these kids because there's definitely some questionable behaviors happening. Okay, it is time to age up Simon. So we're going to have Catherine come over and age up Simon. And then we, we will have another toddler in the house. All right, so Simon has aged up and we randomize all of the traits. So randomizing Simon's toddler trait, he is a charmer. Now we are going to pop into Cass, see if he's a mer person and give him a little bit of a makeover. Simon is a mer person. So we have collected our third type of occult. Our very first child was a spellcaster. Trevor and Autumn are both werewolves, and so now Simon is our first mer person. I'm just going to give him a real quick makeover, and then I'll show you what he looks like when I'm all done, and then we will get back in and keep working on trying to age up these kids. All right, so I've given Simon a little bit of a makeover, and so here he is. 
and I think he is super cute and I love his little curls. So he is all made over. This isn't doing your homework. Do your homework. Do your extra credit work. Oh my god, go to sleep. We have somehow managed to make it to Monday morning with everybody like having done everything that they needed to do for school. I don't know how we pulled it off. Everyone's done their homework. Everyone's done extra credit work that can do extra credit work. I need to get all of these kids off to school. <laughs> Actually, this will be this will be kind of nice because this will be the first time like almost everybody is at school. It'll just be Catherine and Simon left at home when they go off to school. So that really isn't too bad. Get everybody to school. Hopefully get all of the children A's that have the potential to get A's and, you know, and then hopefully maybe moving out Brody and Jen. You need to get up and go to school, dude. All right, since it's really just going to be Catherine and Simon at home, I think we'll invite over maybe Paolo and continue to work on their romance with Paolo. Studies before studies. Jen tried to skip out on class today to comfort a crying friend. What should we tell her? I think that Catherine is going to say don't skip class. Education is important. Catherine really wants all of her kids to be successful. So I think she's not going to want them skipping class. And so Paolo has come over and so Catherine is going to commence some flirtatious activities with him. Apparently though he's going to be stuck in the table first. This is the way things go in this. Catherine has to stop flirting and romancing Paolo to come and grab Simon and potty train him because he needs to go potty and since potty skill is like the worst skill to level, Catherine needs to like be on top of that. And she is. She is on top of it. And just so that Paolo doesn't feel neglected, Catherine's gonna come and kiss him and remind him that she is still interested in him. That you know, she's got some kids to take care of, but she's she's here for him too. And really, it's leaving them in a good place. Should Brody and Jen come home from school with A's, that we could probably have Catherine immediately try to get pregnant with Paolo. But the bills are due, so we should probably go pay those so that we don't have the power shut off again. That's happened a couple of times. Why can't you get to the... There's literally nothing in front of the mailbox. What is the problem? It should come as a shock to no one that Catherine is out here playing with dolls. This is like where Catherine always is. So Paolo and just asked Catherine to be his girlfriend, which is interesting because Paolo's married and Catherine is also the girlfriend of Haka'a. So there's, there's that too. All right, and it looks like we've got some A's happening. So it looks like birthdays galore. Brody is an A student, so we will be able to age Brody up into a young adult. Likewise, Jen is an A student, and we'll be able to age Jen up. Sierra is an A student. Oh no, Odin is still a B student. Okay, so we're going to hold off on leveling up Sierra and Odin since they are both... They're, since they're twins, I want to keep their ages together. I like doing that. I like keeping twins together. But Odin should be good to get an A when he goes to school tomorrow. So that's good. Um, sure, Paolo, you guys can be best friends too. Why not? I just kind of let Catherine be best friends with everybody because otherwise it severely affects their relationship. But let's get Mr. Brody and Ms. Jen aged up and moved out. And since Paolo is here, that means we can try for a baby. So we'll get Brody ready to go. All right, Brody was an eco innovator, so we're going to leave that alone. And his final trait will be a geek. All right, so he's a high maintenance creative geek, which is kind of an interesting combination. And he's graduated with honors, so good on Brody. And now we're going to age up Jen. Jen was a joke star, so again, we're leaving that alone. And Jen's final trait will be a child of the islands all right i mean maybe simon's mer personage and even a word if that's not a, i made up a word rubbed off on jen and she wants to go ahead and live in sulanity sulani so we are going to move these two out get them their own place and get them ready to kind of start on their own and then we'll be back into the house to get Catherine pregnant once again 
So Brody and Jen have moved out. I think we're not going to waste any time and try for a pregnancy with Paolo right off the bat and try and get Catherine pregnant again as we have open slots in the house. While they're doing that, we are going to have... Oh, look at that! Sierra's already working on her homework. We will have Odin get his homework done so that he can get an A when he goes to school tomorrow. Trevor and Autumn both need to do their homework as well. Oh, Autumn's already doing her homework. Look at the girls! They're getting all their homework done. All right, let's go and see if that was a successful try for pregnancy. Catherine is not pregnant. Of course not. But Paolo's fixing the tub, so we're going to let him do that. And Catherine's going to come and make some food for everybody. How is Simon doing? Okay, Simon is sleepy, so he's going to head off to bed. But we'll have to keep an eye on him because his bladder is getting kind of low. So he will need potty. And he's already got his thinking and communication to level two. So that's, that's seeming pretty good. Oh, no. Trevor is angry from a beastly growth spurt from being a small werewolf growing up is weird enough as it is but now this so he's feeling kind of angry but he's still doing his homework like a champ all right Catherine has made dinner and fed everybody and fed herself so she's gonna do another oh wait nope i guess not i guess paolo's gonna leave okay that's fine let's invite over nalani and try for a baby with nalani okay here is nalani Catherine's already feeling like really flirty so right off the bat she's gonna kiss nalani and they will move in to try for pregnancy. And we'll see if that one was successful. Catherine is pregnant! So we may have another mer child. All right, so Nalani has impregnated Catherine. So the next baby is on the way. Catherine is pregnant with baby number 15 and asleep. And why are you sleeping on the couch? Go sleep in your bed. We've made it to Tuesday morning. Simon is awake and stinky and hungry and needing to go potty. So Catherine's going to real quickly run him to the potty. The kids are all starting to wake up and grabbing themselves something to eat for breakfast. Everybody got their... Ho oh, wait, nope. Trevor and Autumn still need to finish their homework. Well, I guess Trevor did his homework. But Autumn needs to finish her homework still. And things are breaking again. I swear, stuff is always broken in this house. It's terrible. Now, with luck, Sierra and Odin will both get A's while at school, and they will be able to age up into teenagers. Right, Simon has already reached communication level three, which is really good. He's really not doing too badly on his skills to already be there, considering he just became a toddler. Since things are kind of calm, Catherine's kind of going around and like cleaning everything and making sure everything is repaired because it seems like stuff constantly breaks in this house. And making sure everything is clean and repaired as, you know, she is pregnant again and will be having another child or two. Always the possibility of two. She wants to be, like, ready to go. All right, kids have made it home from school. Trevor is a B student. Autumn is a B student. Sierra is a, has an A. And Odin now has an A. So to wrap up today's episode, we are going to age up Sierra and Odin and get them aged into teenagers and then hit them up with a real quick makeover. Lots of birthdays today. All right, so Sierra has aged up and we are going to need to randomize a trait for or a aspiration for her. So randomizing between 1 and 16, we got 11 which is nature. So then we're going to randomize again between one and eight, and we got five. So that is the curator. And then her teenage trait is going to be lactose intolerant. So Sierra is self-assured and lactose intolerant. And then next, we're going to have Odin come and blow out the candles. All right. So again, randomizing for Odin between one and 16. We got a 14, which is wellness, and we'll randomize between one and three for which wellness trait will be, or which what we'll randomize between one and three for which wellness aspiration will be his. And we got a one, which will be self-care specialist. And then his trait is overachiever. All right. 
So to wrap up today's episode, I'm gonna give both Odin and Sierra a quick makeover because they both look like they could use a little bit of help. And then that's where we are gonna end things for today. All right, they are made over. So here is Sierra and Sierra uses she, her pronouns. And then here is Odin who is using they, them pronouns. So we have another set of teenagers in the house. And as we have finished aging them up and giving them their makeover, we're going to end the episode here. A lot of birthdays today. We've got twins moved out. We've got Catherine pregnant again. A lot happening. We're rolling with this challenge, trying to keep things from getting too redundant. I, it gets kind of hard as you get later in the challenge because a lot of it is just like getting the kids ready to age up and getting them moved out and aging kids up and all of that. So it can feel kind of redundant and repetitive. I'm gonna, hopefully we can kind of avoid falling into that trap too much. But that is going to be it for today. If you liked this video, please do like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!